Welcome back Pokefans to the Pokemon World Team Y playthrough. So last episode we made our way to Camphria Town. Then we had to help get rid of a Snorlax who's blocking a path. But to do that we need to go to the Parthen Palace which is where we are now. Where we basically had to chase down a Furfro who the owner had lost in his own garden. After that we had to watch like a firework display with I think our rival and then we got given or borrowed the poke flute so we can go and move the Snorlax so that's what we're gonna go and do today then we can start making our way to the next town so first we need to head out of here which starts by going down the stairs actually temporarily lost where I was going there um, how do we get out of this place now? Oh yeah, that's it, out here. Oh then, so... We need to go through the route, but I can't remember where you get to it now. I think, yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, that's it, through route 6. There is an encounter we need to get, which is a hone edge, not a tangler. Right, so we can just run away from that. I uh, genuinely didn't think that that was going to be a battle. So out comes Kecleon, which I'm pretty sure will have colour change. So I need to think about this. Um, yes, yeah, so if we smack down. Oh no, it's got protein. Not colour change. Okay, so it's literally the same as us. But we'll just keep water pulsing. Oh my god, that does so little damage. Wow, we just got absolutely rocked. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, then out goes Combuscan. Let's just go for a fire punch. Just finish it off. So we'd, we would have actually lost Frogadier there in the Nuzlocke. And it would have been a trainer that could have easily been avoided. Boah ha ha, I love finding myself a trainer stronger than I am. I would love finding myself. Gives me something to work toward. Right, that's nice to know. I think you can defeat a man at the peak of his happiness. Think again. Taurus Takimi. Volby. Now, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure these have changed typing, but I can never remember what it is. Gotta be bug other soon. And Sunny Day's just gonna boost our five points, that's good for us. Thank you. Goes down in one. Takes us that up to uh, level 23. Um up next is Loudred. I wonder what does more damage here. Double kick or a sun boosted fire punch. I'm gonna go for a double kick. Oh yeah, that that does plenty. A little defeat like this won't let won't get me down. I'm on my honeymoon after all.
Oh, so we're still looking for Honage. Esper. See, I was thinking, should we get one of them? Because I know Meow Sticks are both boosted in this. What? I mean, it's a case of if we need one, we'll get one at a later point. Plus, I also can't remember if it's male or female we want, so. But we'll leave it for now. Ekans. I feel like it's going to take forever to find a Honage. Although we are getting encounters like every couple of steps, so. Another Tangler. I'm curious to see how much these give XP. Oh my god, it lived. How has it lived? Right, well, I'll we'll just finish it with a peck. Now I'm going to have to waste an antidote. All because that Tangle decided it wanted to live. We should have plenty though, because I did buy a load. Oh, we got... How do we get that? There we go, up there. Venom shock. Okay, not too bad. To be fair, we could be missing stuff all the way over here. Okay, wasn't expecting it to be a a trainer there, but like crow gunk could have dry skin. Right then, so we'll just go for a fire punch. It's got dry skin, then this hurts a lot. To be fair, the crow looks quite frail anyway. Um, Quagsire. You know, we're gonna go Ivysaur. First little bit of action. And finally. Quagsire absolutely tanks that. And Baldos hurts way too much. Maybe it doesn't go for another one. Or oh, actually, yeah, we'll, we'll go for the gin now. If it goes for a water move now, then <coughs> that is mega annoying. Um, just thinking, just thinking. It's not going to go for a bulldoze, so we could potentially switch. That's a counter? What? I didn't know that Quagsire got counter. Oh, it goes down to another bottom with. Togepi's up to level 18 as well. Right, Parasect. Go back to Combuscan and Fire Punch. Oh my god, look how goofy he is. Them eyes. Never really noticed that before. I 
Five souls up to level 19 as well. Hmm, maybe I should start tomorrow. Uh, all of that for a paralyzed heal. Right, can we get her an edge? No, it's another Echoes. Honage, Honage. Nope, a Venom. <coughs> Run away from that as well. Oh, I need to go up. Sentry as well now. So, getting a bit more diversity. Still not what we want there. Oh my god. Ah, Kecklin. Another Pokemon with protein. Damn thing beat my Frogadier earlier. Paladine actually has two very different faces. One is this easy shore here and the other is well. I guess you'll find out about that on your way back from the palace. Yes, I'm curious, how do we go this way? Got an X special attack. Right, well, I'm just going to quickly run around and see if I can find a hone edge and then we'll be right back. Oh my god, I don't think you realise like how long I have been looking at this hone edge. Like nearly half an hour. I'd say about 25 minutes it took me to find this. I found every other Pokemon. I even checked the documents to make sure that I'm actually correct and it does spawn here. And apparently it's a 10% chance, but I think that must be a type in us with like 1%. I think I found about six Kecleons which is supposed to be five percent but it doesn't matter we've got one now anyway probably not really going to use it yet though might just have it in the team for the gym do need to do some EV training with it as well gonna give it as low speed as I can because then I can take advantage of the switch stance Right, so we'll run back heal and then we'll go and move the dreaded Snorlax. I think we've still got quite a way till we get to the actual next gym as well. Because the level cap's 32 as well, so. Here we go. Oh, it's you two. Did you actually manage to borrow the poke flute? Thanks. Well, you're the only one who can play it, right? Stunnets can be grumpy when it wakes up, it might attack. I'll play the flute right now, but are you ready to stop it? Yeah, let's go for it. Feels nice to have this flute in my hands again. Okay, I guess I'll start playing. I'm not sure if we can run away from it or not. Just look at it, right, just out cold. Snorlax opened its eyes wide. Snorlax attacks. I don't know what level it is, 20. Oh no, it's only level 15. Just run away from it. Snorlax fled towards the mountains. Wonder where Snorlax went. Think he'll come sleep here again. Grr, oof. 
Oh, this will be the fur throw, in it? Oh. Is there anything I can do with that poke flute to put it on display? But you've been playing since you were little and Tony's lovely. Seems like my fur throw also likes the sound of that flute. Not as much as he likes my beautiful wonder through fireworks, of course. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, you're playing sandy better back in the day. I'll let you take care of that flute, so be sure to practice more. Was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. I wonder where lies past where Snorlax was sleeping. I'll tell you what. A root. Oh. Oh, hey, P-Meister. Trev said he wants to check out the Pokemon Daycare. Come with us. I suppose we ain't got a choice. This is the Pokemon Daycare. They take care of Pokemon for you here. Yes, indeed. You can leave up to two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something good can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. That's right. Sometimes we'll find a new addition like an egg. If you carry the egg around, a Pokemon will emerge from it. Wow. A Pokemon will come out. Maybe I'll leave some Pokemon here. Having the same Pokemon with the same moves might step my dance up. How about you, P-Monster? Maybe I will. There aren't many Pokemon I want to raise. I'll try it on some other occasion. That's one way to look at it. But I want to go look for some Pokemon from my dance team. Hey, wait. Tiano, wait up. We're not actually going to leave any Pokemon here. I just said that for the sake of it. Sometimes the Pokemon that hatch from eggs know the same moves as the Pokemon you left at daycare. Right, so there is actually an encounter that we want here. I'm just going to save just in case I mess up this honey thing. So, how many have we got? We've got five. Ideally, we don't want to be wasting loads. And Piplup's not what we want, so I'm going to reset. And there we go, that's the right thing, Turtwig. Now we've got to take out a bunch of them. So we'll start with poisoning a few. Oh, it doesn't affect them because of um, their typing. Spores and powders don't work on grass types. Okay, that's a little annoying. I suppose we'll switch to Combuskin. You know, this is going to be a little bit tedious and long, so I'll just fast forward to when we actually catch one. And there you go, we got one. I think it might have been the quickest out of the five as well, 90% sure. But yeah, that's going to be a good addition to the team for the um, gym. I think we get it as a Torterra as well, because I'm pretty sure the level cap's 32. Um, let me just double check, there's nothing else that I wanted to get off this route. Um, no. Okay, so let's see what we can find. I'm pretty sure there's some items. Oh, double battle. You there, you're the perfect model for our next painting. Show us a magnificent display in battle to get this painting started. Artist family, Mona and Paolo, the two Schmiegel. Okay, in fact you got four Pokemon, so this could go horribly wrong. Right, we'll start it off with a sleep powder on you. And a double kick on you. And of course you miss. Got Psy Strike. And oh my word. Yep, bye bye Iso. Okay, one of them's down. Surely we don't miss a hypnosis again. I mean a sleep powder. Oh, 
and it's got moody. Right, out comes Sunflora. Yeah, I think I'll just put you to sleep. Hopefully without missing this time. Fire Punch takes out the Sunflora. I've just noticed how high these levels are. Okay, we connect with that one. What's the last Pokemon to come out? Oh god, defense boost. A pseudo wooder. Okay, we're probably gonna have to focus on taking that out. At least this will break its. Oh my god, that does so little damage. Accuracy rose, special defense dropped. Okay, we'll go Frogadier. And I th think I just water pulse since you got minus special defense now. And door kick should finish off the sort of order. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the levels are suddenly sharp to 25. How much does this do? Okay, yeah, just straight up one shot, so I'll take that. Yahoo, this is going to be our best work yet. It's that battle place in it. Perk actually you know about this building. It's called the Battle Chateau and it's famous for being a place where trainers gather to improve their skills. If I learn even more about Pokemon, I'm sure I'll be able to defeat Kalos's eight gym leaders. Okay, well, I'm not interested in going in there. Ah, oh, it's a battle. Oh, I kind of messed up here. If you all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should we pair up? Hmm. Let's go with Terno and Trevor against P Meister and me. You know what, we're just going to do it. Screw it. Okay, P Meister, since we're neighbours, we might as well battle together, right? I feel like this is going to be horrendous. A core fish and a Pikachu. Who does the crawfish target? That is the question. Yeah, I feel like we switched to Luxia. Aquajet into me here. Yeah. And Electro Ball on Fletchinder. Which just straight up gets one shot. Right, out comes Quilladin. Yeah, we are a little bit under leveled for this. Pikachu's got a lightning rod, what the hell? Okay, well, I need to off Quilladin, just takes it out. And then out comes a Lilligan. Right, we'll go to Combuscan. Hopefully Quilladin takes out Pikachu. We just get hit with a sleep powder, fantastic. Out 
And Thunder Punch. Wow. Okay, we'll just go Fletchinda. We're probably not surviving an attack here. Um, but we'll go for a peck. Don't think it's going to do much. Yep, literally tickled. And then look how much Giga Drain does. This definitely takes us out. I was going to say, absolutely wrecked um, fingers, so it's definitely going to do a lot of damage to us. Right, we'll go Frogadier and we'll go for an Ice Punch on the Lilligan. Hopefully, this goes. Oh my god, that does so little damage. Here we get stun spawned, fantastic. Okay, well the Pikachu's gone. Out comes Breloo. Which is Ice type. No, I think we just, I think we just lose here. That punch is gonna hurt. Yeah, in fact, it just, just one shot. And this thing's also got synthesis. Just gotta love it. Okay, I think we're just gonna have to reset and. I hope that this goes better. I'll probably have to level everyone off as well. So yeah, we'll try this again. Oh, doesn't matter how it turns out. It sure is interesting to see how different each trainer style is. But I guess we should head off to Ambrit Town then. Okay, so we don't have to actually rebattle them. But yeah, we're definitely going to get everyone up to level 26. Because that obviously seems to be where the levels are now. So let's just quickly rare candy everyone up. Hopefully someone... Fletching has got to learn some new moves. It's been stuck on the same moves for ages. Roost. You know what, actually, that's not too bad, because that, that's priority. Even Togepi all the way up to 26. Uh, no, we don't want to land polymer. Although it could be advantageous. Oh, it's evolving. Actually becomes a little bit useful now as well. Now also, I think it gains a flying type as well. So it's like flying fairy. Hasn't learned anything new though. Right then, one more level on this. One level on um, Frogadier. Extra sensory is 80 base power. I didn't know that. Okay, we'll get rid of Sweet Kiss. And then one more on Frogadier. Right, and that's everyone up to date. I just think it's mad how quick it all jumped up. Go back to leading with that. 
Well, I think now is when we go through a cave. Yeah. Not sure which way we want to go though. Connecting cave is where we get some new encounters as well. Starting with drill buff on hordes. I think you can also get Charmander doing the hordes as well. I do want to check to see if Sweet Scent works like um, honey as well. Apparently, all you can find around here is Smeagol. Oh, it's got to be, oh yeah, berry. Person berry, that's going to actually come in useful. Because I know you have a battle against someone who leads with a cleft key, who goes for swagger and then foul play. So if we can get them to swagger a certain Pokemon with a person berry, get all of the attack boost, and then we can literally just sweep. Oh yeah, actually, we can cut as well. I forgot we got the TM for cut. I oh, see, it's a grass type move in this. Don't know who I really want to learn it though. What about Kambuska? Yeah, we'll get rid of Sand Attack. I think 50 is less than normal. I'm sure cuts normally like 60 base. Right, we've got a silver powder which I think boosts bug moves. Not 100% sure on that though. Right, well, let's head on into connecting cave. And there's our first encounter, a Lavatar. Should have probably led with Ivysaur actually. Goes for a chip away. Right then, let's start with putting him to sleep. Oh my god. Why does sleep powder not hit most of the time? And it misses again. You know what? Screw this. Sweet scent, and then we'll go for it. Now, surely we connect. There we go. And now it's probably going to be a nightmare to catch. Right, what Pokeballs have we got? Let's try a Cherish Ball. So far, I've put everything in one of these. Okay, we got it first time of asking as well. I'll take that. Live tiles added to the Pokedex. Will eventually be a Tyranitar. Right, so let's switch to lead with you. So actually I'm just thinking maybe not so much they're gonna be low level anyway so let's see if sweet scent works like honey and yes it does so Obviously this isn't what we actually want, we want to get a drill bar, but I suppose there's no harm in catching Charmander. 
we'll start taking this one out. So the one right at the back is the quickest. That's good to know. So I'll fast forward to when we just catch up. Oh my god, this thing was so annoying to catch. I even put it to sleep and it was still coming out. Ended up having to throw a few great balls at it. So yeah, we've got a Charmander. That can go in the boxer now. Um, and then we need to keep trying to get a drill bar, which I think is like a 35% chance. Watch well, us go ahead and get like the 5%. Another load of Charmander. So I'll just fast forward to when I've actually caught a drill bar because no mind that this is going to take forever. And we finally got one. Again, for a 35% chance spawn, that took way too long. I think I got about six Charmander spawns first. But there we go, we got a drill bar. I'm hoping that it hasn't got Mold Breaker because we want it to have sand thingy but we'll find out if not I'll have to come back and get another one um, who are we leading off with Froggedy yeah that'll do oh are you not a battler how about if I help you dear Pokemon rest up a bit okay yeah that'll do right so we carry on through here and on to route 8 now, I'm pretty sure there's another encounter we want to get here. Yes, a Viper, which also is by Hordes. However, oh, stop right there. Who's this? Oh, it's you two again. Ah ha ha, we didn't mean to surprise you. How are you and Froggedeer doing? Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex could possibly cover a region as big as Kalos? Well, it can't. That's why we're here to power up your Pokedex. Coastal Kalos Pokedex will be on your Pokedex menu, so tap to select it. New encounters help people and Pokemon grow and mature. We'll be taking our leave now, Bon Voyage. Yeah, so what I was saying was... Um, yeah, Survivor is a 35... Well, Survivor and Zangoose grouped together is a 35% chance, so it's about 17 and a half. And seeing as how long it's taking to find... The ones that we actually want that means it could take a while so I'll probably just do that off camera oh, I meant to go the left way because I wanted to click that rock it's kind of hard to control these rollerblades but it doesn't matter we can go all the way back round this way oh there's nothing actually in it so that was a complete waste of time just seemed a little bit too sus either way looks like we're gonna have some battles down here a drifloon Could have actually avoided you as well. Alright, so you got a pancha. To be fair, Pancham and Pangora, they were another like group of Pokemon that I quite liked from X and Y. Uh, we'll go to Turgotic because I'm pretty sure you're the fighting dark. And then disarming voice should KO. Or, or you can just switch us out and bring out Fletch in there. Well, let's go for a couple of pecks then. 
so weak. Like we could really do with some um, some new moves. Even aerial ice or wing attack or something. Um, frillish. Go into Luxio and pray that it's female, and then just go for Spark. And of course it's a male, so let's see how much a spark does. Oh, it KOs anyway, so it's not the end of the world. And then up next is Tangela. Go Combuskin and go for a good old meaty fire punch. Probably lives this because the one previous did. Oh my god, that hardly did anything. Well, it, it did over half, so it clearly did something, but I thought it was going to be a lot closer to the red. Another fire punch to finish it off then. And don't underestimate Tangler's bulk, I suppose. Which means Tangrowth will be even bulkier. Hmm, that certainly don't go as it did in my predictions. How do we get that item? Oh uh, yeah, we need to use strength, which we can't yet. Can't go that way because it's blocked. We're going to go this way because I'm pretty sure... There's an item on the corner here, and that's why he's stopping us from going there. And then out comes my chop. I swear I kind of miss not having lick. Let's go for a water pulse. Should do good damage. Didn't do as much as I thought. And you don't hit yourself with confusion. Great. I think this is a roll to look at KOs. No, it does. Okay, that's that's not too bad then. And your last Pokemon's a Mienfu. Right, we'll go Togetic, get some use out of Togetic for a change. Right now, good old. Ah, oh, I accidentally clicked that. I meant to click. Um, disarming voice. You've now just boosted your special defense as well, so it's more than likely going to be probably a three shot. Okay, it's still a two shot. Pretty sure Mianfu's got like shocking special attack. Running a special attack set doesn't make any sense. Oh well, well, we got rid of it. It appears that building a thick skin on one's feet does not make one stronger in battle. Alright, so what were you hiding? Clearly nothing. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, there we go, escape room. All that for that. Well, I feel like we've got a battle coming. Probably should just use the repel so we can actually get through here. Sneasel's not a bad type to get there. Um, at least I know where to come and get one if I need an ice type. Right, let's use the repel. And continuing on. Oh, it's these things.
Yep, we need to go back down. And jump across this way. It's probably not going to be worth it. Ah, at least there, okay. It's got some value, I suppose. And then where does the other way lead? Just to a dead end. We got pure baited there. Alright, now we can go the way we actually need. And we've arrived at Ambrit Town. Hi there, neighbour. This is Ambrit Town. You just got you just go through the aquarium to get to Silly City, but first we should go to the fossil lab and have them tell us about fossils. Might even learn something about those mysterious stones related to Mega Revolution. Okay, well, we're gonna end the episode there. It's actually been a really long episode, like an hour and a half, I think, of recording. But that it will obviously be like the half an hour finding Hone Edge and all the other sort of stuff. So it definitely won't be that long when I actually edit it. But yeah, next episode we'll continue um, to the next town, which is where the gym will be. And we should then take on the gym leader as well for our second badge. It's already, like I'm already thinking about how hard it, and challenging it's going to be. But that's the reason you play these games, especially on insanity mode. But um, yeah, next time we'll um, definitely get our gym badge. Thank you everyone for watching and... Hope to see you all next time.